This video was produced by researchers at the University of Georgia's Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources. The purpose of this training video is to detail how to process our Loblolly Pine PT Gen 2 cDNA microarray, paying particular attention to the washing and handling of the array both before and after hybridization. In general, our protocols follow those developed at the Institute for Genomic Research, TIGER, and the Vanderbilt Microarray Shared Resource Facility, VMSR, where our arrays are printed. We have found that more stringent processing of PT Gen 2 is required to provide the greatest amount of consistency with respect to uniformity of signal quality and low backgrounds. The first step is a pre-wash. We do this because our spotting buffer contains a very high salt content, and this pre-wash is necessary to remove that salt. The slides are placed in a microscope slide carrier and plunged vigorously 15 to 20 times in a 0.2% SDS solution that has been preheated to 43 degrees. After the slides are washed in the SDS solution, they are removed carefully with forceps into a Copeland jar containing pre-hybridization buffer. This buffer contains 5x SSC, 0.1% SDS, and 1% BSA and is also heated at 43 degrees. The Copeland jar is covered with parafilm and placed in a 43 degree incubator for one hour. Following prehybridization, the slides are removed to a microscope slide carrier and processed successively through five changes of deionized water, plunging 15 to 20 times in each change. Finally, the slides are placed in isopropanol and dipped five or six times before being centrifuged to dryness in a chipmate centrifuge. After centrifugation, the slides are blown with compressed air passed through a